Hey guys, what's up? Zooch here. Today I'm going to be talking about my next constructed deck for the Eternal Ranked Ladder. This is the sort of next logical progression for me from the Xenic Control deck that I've been playing recently. This is quote-unquote Esper Control, to borrow a term from Magic. So it is three colors, Shadow, Time, and Primal. Um, it's keeping a lot of the same core elements from the Xenic Control deck. We're still playing these like really powerful four drops, Mystic Senate to draw cards, The Last Word, Scorpion Wasp, Find the Ways, uh, you know, the Suite of Removal, uh, Sabotages and Subverts. Um, but we're supplementing the sort of awkward, techie ish choices that we were playing in the other list for some more robust choices. So I'm no longer playing Decays, I'm playing Wisdom of the Elders in their stead. Um, I've got Lightning Storm which does a really good job at, you know, countering entire strategies uh, much better than Temple Scribe. Although Temple Scribe was better in, you know, the aver against the, like the control deck, this is such a more potent answer. I think it's probably worth the splash. Felon Bloodcaster is a nice early body that can provide us value late game. Um, and then we've got this classic combination of Withering Witch and Black Sky Harbinger to basically act as an unmitigated... Uh, sweeper and a nice, you know, pinging sweeper that can get us back into the game. Uh, like I said, we're cutting down on some of the tech choices. You know, I'm not playing the steward of prophecy or plagues or decays. Uh, to make room for all this stuff, I have had to cut some other things. I'm running one less sabotage. I'm um, running one less scorpion wasp and one less ascendant, one less last word. But uh, all in all, the deck has felt pretty good. I'm in the mid, I think, 300s or 400s right now. and uh, t That's actually pretty solid, because we started, uh, you know, earlier tonight at like 800, so I'm pretty happy with where we're at right now. <laughs> so why don't we jump into some games um, and see how we do. All right, here we are, our first game against two eagles. <sighs> this actually looks kind of miserable. We're on the play but we've got three lands if this were just a sigil what uh would i keep this hand the last word's really it's a little awkward in this opener i think i'm gonna redraw just because this is basically a mulligan to six and i don't want that right now it's a little bit better not really but um not really but we'll see We kind of need to draw either a sigil or like a find the way. So, one of those two things. That's pretty good. Now well, we need a, another primal source. So, uh, maybe one will come to us right now. We'll see. No! What does he take here? Take my sab. I would take my sabotage for our him, but. Yeah. Or a uh, subvert. That's what I meant. Sorry. Oh, perfect. The best card we could have drawn. Let's go get a primal sigil so that we can uh, play this bad boy next turn. I don't think I care about that. Um, yeah, I think this is right. Let's play it like that. Wisdom of the Elder sort of is awkward because I don't have any outs to that like I would do in the Xenic control list. Maybe like a one of Decay would be nice. All right, let's just draw some cards. Mm -hmm. Um, I could just drop the steward of the past and try to trade off. I don't really want to use my scorpion wasp, but maybe I should. He could tap it down too, but it seems like a waste of his resources. Alright. Alright, well I'll just use the scorpion wasp then I guess.
I don't want to throw two dudes out there uh, just because it's probably going to be a, a two for one at one point in time when he harsh rules. All right, let's see what happens if I do this. So you've got, we're about even on cards. Uh, but I'm about to Wisdom of the Elders and go up a card. Okie dokie. Oh, let's draw a Sigil. Nope. Um, I'm going to run this out there and try to see if I can bait out the Harsh Roll. Is this good? Should I play this? I could play the second steward of the pass and then find the way and then wait so I can Mystic Ascendant next turn. That seems like an okay plan. So we're, we're, we're going to pass without playing this because our plan is to play this next turn. Presuming he like deals with these things, right? Feeding time, huh? Okay. Interesting. All right, so that makes me think he does not have a harsh rule in his hand because he would have just harsh ruled there. Man, I really don't want this to get hit by a removal spell. So maybe I just run this out there and uh, just sort of hope that he takes that opportunity to kill these things. We'll, we'll see. Let's do that. I know I've got this, so I'm sort of foregoing this combo here. But uh, I think I'm fine with that. This is one of the others, okay. Taps one down. Mm. Do I play this out there or not? He just drew a couple cards. Uh, I think it's probably worth it. Maybe I should play this in case I draw a sabotage, but okay, I didn't. Well, my my plan might end up backfiring. He uh, he drew three cards since our last turn, so there's a not insignificant chance that there's a harsh rule in there, or at least another removal spell. Ah. Uh... All right. Well, we'll just wait. This is one of the problems that these traditional control decks have. I feel like there's just too many do-nothing cards. Like, in the control matchup, you know, these aren't going to do very much. Steward of the Past, okay. Probably just going to annihilate this guy. The reason I'm annihilating him is because I, uh... I don't think I'll have many uh, times to use this card. So once we hit a threshold of 10 mana, a uh, Film Bloodcaster can be played and activated in the same turn, which is sort of why I'm playing out my sigils. Normally I'd like to hold on to like one or two for a Mystic Ascendant. Uh-oh. That's a problem for us. Let's see who he's working with. Uh... So he's got Vanquish, Lightning Storm, Annihilate, Stray, and an Eye of Winter. And then one Mystery card. So if I take Stray, I can drop this Witch, and he has no way to kill it other than hitting it with his hammer. So let's do that. Yeah, I need to write this down. Storm, Vanquish, I, well, that's new, that's also new, oh my gosh, what an insane draw, I don't remember what, what the last card in his hand was, Lightning Storm, Vanquish, I, Lightning Storm, Vanquish, I, I don't think it deals with this. I'm just going to hope it doesn't. I 
Man, normally I would just take a screenshot with my uh, snipping tool. Nice play. Valkyrie Enforcer. All right. All right. <laughs> it's just going to keep getting killed. Boop. <laughs> I'm going to keep this. No reason to play it out. Valkyrie Enforcer. Okay. Let's see. Let's just go ahead and kill this guy. And try to kill him. He died. <laughs> God, the last word is just so good. There we go. All right. The low 300s. Hmm. All right, let's run it back. I'm hoping that the audio, or the the sound for the um, I might turn down the music or the sound in just a second. I just turn it all the way off. It still feels loud. Okay, let's just turn it off. I worry because the last video of my uh, the sound was way too loud. I couldn't hear myself. Uh oh. Well, that would have been nice last turn, but it's fine. Okay, we'll get to go fetch up either a primal or a time mana. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, gosh. We're about to get walloped. All right, we're getting a time mana. It's been decided. Yeah, sorry if there, there's way too much silence now, but I just worry that I will uh, inadvertently be, my, my video will be impossible to hear with the background noise. So I don't normally listen to music anyway. No blocks. Fortunately for us, we've got two Sandstorm, Sandstorm Titans in case he has any shenanigans that he's playing. Uh, yipper. So this deck has like polymorph. That's about it that can deal with this thing, right? I guess it could have Xen and Obelisk as well, but um, I don't know. Ideally, it has neither of those. A friendly wisp. Okay. Well, let's just drop another sandstorm titan. Boop. God, these guys are so big. <laughs> now we've got a backup. Just in case. If he attacks with this guy, I'm just going to block with one of these. I'm not going to trade my 2 1 in for it. I would assume that he's doing it simply because. Ah, uh, oh, golly, geez. All right, load up. Uh, I guess I just keep <laughs> rocking out these threats. It's a nice answer to uh, Dawnwalker. We are in a bit of a pickle, though, because if you ever draw Zen and Obelisk, we, we have just like zero answers to that card. That card will shit on us. Mystic Ascendant? Oh, no. Where are <laughs> Mystic we haven't. We don't have any sigils. We need to draw some lands here, like really badly. Okay. All right. Uh, think I. What do I do here? I think I run out the second steward of the past. Ah, oh, man. Really want a wisdom of the elders here to try to find uh, some sort of removal spell for this, but if he has a permafrost, he can put it on this. 
all of a sudden we're taking a lot of damage. Like, can block here, can block here, can block here. But we're still taking 8, 9, 10, 13. We go to 5. I think I need the second one of these. Yeah, that mystic is going to run away with the game. We need to find an answer two turns ago. Amber Acolyte. Uh, that's actually really good. So I can do this into six land and play that. Uh, we don't need anything in particular. And we'll pass the turn. The second he plays a Xenon Obelisk, I think we lose. God, stop it. He's drawn so many cards. Oh my gosh. I don't think he's played a sigil this turn either. Oh, nice. Uh, no answers just yet. We can play our own and start drawing cards, which I think I like a little bit more. Lightning Storm. What does Lightning Storm do? It kills a bunch of his stuff. I might attack with my two Amber Acolytes. I kind of like playing it because it deals with, uh, oh golly, okay, that's kind of annoying. I'm surprised he didn't hit the Mystic because that card is going to be a lot worse for him. Um, let's see, Rocker, Withering Witch, that seems pretty good. Oh, good game. Good thing I got to draw that extra card. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that was a card we could have drawn. Alright, he's got a two mana spell. I don't, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a uh, Storm Links. That's probably what it is. <laughs> what a ridiculous turn. Seerso the Great Glutton. Permafrost. I'm not sure that that matters. You still need another answer. Initiate of the Sands. You need a second, second something. Okay, that should be game. Go ahead and draw some cards first because that's what this deck likes to do. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and feeding time this and kill this. Thanks for the game. Man, I need to figure out my whether I'm going to be listening to sounds or not. All right. Whoa. Moving on up. That was 60 ranks. Holy fuck. Maybe more like 50, I guess, but maybe more like 43, but still. That's pretty good. All right. Here we go. Just a player. <laughs> I wonder if this is like a dev or something. Uh, this hand seems pretty insane. Uh, we've got three lands, plus a fourth land, plus stuff to do, plus a sweeper. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it in hopes that my opponent is not playing something ridiculous like Jito. He's almost certainly playing Find the Way, because it's the best Echo spell that there is right now. And do I search for land now? Yes. I want to get a Primal Sigil. This will fetch up a time, and then we'll have all the influencing we need. Oh my. What is he doing? I'm going to play this so it sort of 
suggests that I might have storm links in my my hand. Um, if I play out that, he probably wouldn't think so, but ah, just coming in anyway. Oh well, my bluff didn't work. <laughs> Suffocate. All right, this is going to go get a time. Next turn, I can play this Felm Bloodcaster and potentially suffocate something. What is this? What's going on? Well, I'm blocking. I think, obviously. I can't waste a suffocate on this guy, right? That's stupid. I have to save this for like a Seraph or something, right? Lightning Storm. Alrighty. Even more reason not to suffocate it. Uh, if he attacks, I'm blocking. Oop. He didn't use a trick last turn, so probably doesn't have one. Maybe he has an Orc Rune Hammer. Okay. Well, it happens. I actually really want to hit a land, because then this kills his Oracle Rune Hammer. Subvert. Yep. Uh, we play this, and do we suffocate? No. I would re I really want to use the Black Sky Harbinger to kill this thing, but I fear I'm trying to get way too much value from it. Oh, we are down to 15. Holy smokes. Oh. Why don't I just play Witch? Play Witch. He gets to he kills this, and then uh, Black Sky Harbinger kills this guy. Witch is such a robust threat, though. And this 2-2 two -two is just whatever. Um, let's see what happens. Maybe he's going to... Okay. Man. Drat. I've been too greedy. I should just have suffocated this thing like two turns ago. Hmm. Well, it's high time to be withering witching now. We definitely need to draw a sigil though. We spent our first, our opening hand had four mana sources in it. And we haven't hit another one yet. Uh, okay. I will not... Uh, yeah. I want to rethink that one. I'll block like this. We got a pump spell here. Stand together. Ew. That's super annoying. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're dead. We're dead. We just died. Well, that's what I get. We never hit uh, Black Sky Harbinger mana, which was really annoying since we started out with uh, four sources in our hand and just got stalled out on uh, on five for a long time. But eh, it happens. I could have played that game a lot differently and uh, probably would have... One had I chosen maybe any number of other lines, but eh, that's what happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, um, this hand's fine. Got four sources and some dudes and another dude, so perfecto. Um, I'm going to search up a land now. I, uh, I see no reason to wait. 
I'm going to get a time sigil just in case, hypothetically, we have to go two drop into three drop into this four drop. And we don't have an opportunity to play the Xenon banner. All right. Well, we do now. Hey, it's more mana than we saw all of last game. Oh, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's a pretty good draw. I'm just going to use this to kill this thing. I don't want to rely on this thing because then my guy gets vanquished and then gets killed. Uh, yeah, I'll just get rid of this stupid thingy. Hopefully he torches it. That's pretty good for us. Because that means he has fewer outs to Sandstone Titan. I'm actually probably going to play the Steward of the Past. Because if he Vanquish is a card he could easily run. Um, this gets around that. Let's see playing Throne Warden. That would be annoying. Rise to Challenge. Okay. I wonder if he's going getting another Auric Rune Hammer. I miss the decays from the other deck. I, I tell you what. I tell you what. They made this matchup so good. Maybe good is a, and not a fair statement, but they made the armory matchup so awesome. If they're like, go search up an Auric Rune Hammer. And then I get to like pay three mana to kill their equipment that they spent eight mana on. And I gain life. All right. Here's the question. Do I play Sandstone Titan or not? Uh, I'm kind of inclined to not do it. If he goes, if he went and got Orc Runehammer, he gets to kill my steward, but then I get to Black Sky to death. Same with um, Daisho. He can, even, can't even kill that without losing his Daisho. Uh, he can get a, I, I can't imagine he would get Sword of Akaria. So I'm just going to wait, I think, and uh, Wisdom of the Elders. And I did it main phase in case I hit a Sabotage. I could take whatever he got. I right. uh, Daisho? Sure. All right, so this kills the Daisho. I knew I, I knew it was going to kill the Daisho, too. I, I, I said otherwise, and then I, uh, all right, I started to say it, and then I caught myself. Thinking I was wrong, but the important point is that I wasn't wrong, and his dice show is dead. Gah. Hitting players is very nice. <laughs> we'll probably drop the sandstone. Sandstorm Titan, for heaven's sakes. Get the name right. Uh oh. Smuggler Stash. Daisho and or a crude hammer and that's it, right? Okay. Get in there, buddy. Boop. So Daisho is going to kill the Black Sky Harbinger, and then whatever I play after that. So do I want it to be... I don't think I want it to be either of these two. I think I'm actually just going to play this Withering Witch. About to sneeze. All right, we're back. <laughs> This doesn't have a whole lot of targets in this deck anyway. He says immediately before he plays Copper <laughs> the Bailiff. That's a really weird play. Uh, let's go ahead and steal his dice show, please. <laughs> oh my god. 
gosh. <laughs> How salty is he right now? Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, cause he can't even swing. That's right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, the game was everything I wanted it to be. <laughs> we got one more. We're three and one. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was perfect. That was perfect. I'm going to redraw this one. Do, do, do. This hand is butt. The only, <laughs> the only card that we remotely want to cast soon is this one. Well, I'll probably go ahead and suffocate that immediately. Uh, Suffocate or... Yeah. Just keep him hobbled just slightly. I can't afford him to go crazy and cast a bunch of powerful stuff. Maybe that's an aggressive use of... Well, okay, whatever. Maybe that was an aggressive use of that card, but I'm not going to do it on the second one. I need to save this for a Sandstorm Titan of his or a Martial Iron Thorn or a, you know, whatever. We need to draw a lot of stuff lickety split okay mm. where's that find the way I would even settle for a time sigil or primal sigil either or is fine oh uh, this isn't good. <clears throat> this isn't good at all. I really don't like using this, but I think I need to use this. Uh, and then... Because if I play out this thing as a vanquish, I just lose on the spot. Right? Because he would attack me for 10, put me to 9. I don't like this play at all, but I think I have to do it just to keep tempo up. All right, so I can cast Subvert, or I can cast Death Strike. I think I like Subvert, because uh, hopefully I can nab something good. There we go. I will have to use this Death Strike pretty soon, probably on this guy. Maybe I should have done it last turn. Don't play anything good, please. Oh, no. Okay. Oh my gosh. My only hope is to... I don't have any hope. There's no hope that I win this game. I'm going to go to four here. I can play out a a creature, but then he can still attack me to for five. Yeah, maybe, maybe I should have death struck that last turn, but still... I don't think I would have won. Anyway, uh, it felt like a... One of those games where you just don't hit your color and power. Thanks for the game, though. Well, we went three and two, which is uh, an okay record for a deck, right? Nothing to write home about, but we went up approximately, I don't know, 50 points on the ladder. So good for us. Uh, if you like the deck, uh, I'll show it again. If I were to make some changes, I... I, I love Subvert, and maybe it's just a pet card of mine, but every time I cast it, it just seems incredibly powerful. Not, I mean, that last game, it wasn't very indicative, but we were also losing that game for a lot of other reasons. Um, I don't know. I, I really like the deck so far. I could see bringing this to a tournament and, and seeing how it does, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you later.